If you'd like to support my channel, consider becoming a patron. $2 gets you access to my videos earlier than YouTube, 5 will get you access to polls that determine my next review or let's play, and $10 gets you direct input into what content I cover. It also gets you extra entries into giveaways, and you'll get to see your name mentioned at the end of every video. If that doesn't do it for you, I have shirts and merchandise on Spreadshirt.com that you can also buy. As always, links will be in the description and the end slate. Hello lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. Oh hey look, it's Big Hero 6. You know that show that premiered months ago and never aired more episodes after that? Well I'm no businessman, but that sounds like the best way to hype up kids to watch your new series and definitely wouldn't cause them to ultimately forget it exists in the face of tons of other currently airing series. Be that as it may, you're here to get my opinion on episode 2, not hear me rant about cartoon industry hiatuses. I will be upfront though. Series that disappear on me cause me some trouble when it comes to reviewing them. Something to do with trying to find my groove again. Luckily it didn't take too long for me to get into this episode, which sees our heroes tackling a new threat, a mother and daughter villain team known as High Voltage. As silly as the two villains look, and act, they're actually pretty good additions to the show. With a lack of any meaningful backstory they make up for in design and dance moves. Some fans may find issue with how difficult it is for Big Hero 6 to take the two women down. I mean, they are all geniuses and dealing with an electric-based foe should get you thinking about insulation pretty quickly. But the writers do attempt to circumvent this with comic book logic. Fred specifically notes that the silly nature of high voltage has the characters taking them too lightly. But that doesn't quite explain the rest of their failures. While the episode is really fun and fairly well written, I do think this one didn't balance the difficulty that well. I won't dwell on that anymore, but again, it could bother some folks. The other part of this episode has Hiro dealing with the original youngest student at his university, Carmi, and their actions really helped sell this episode to me. At first, there's a real danger of her being so incredibly annoying as to enter what I call the Sakura Zone, a situation where the writers inadvertently or purposefully write a character so annoying that it makes watching any episode with them a chore, but Carmi ends up being so quirky, in a good way, that she ends up being a great new character. The fact she has a crush on Hero's superhero alter ego while thinking he has a crush on her is simply too good. I love it, honestly. Yes, it's not even close to being new ground, especially within superhero stories, but it helps that she's a fun character. And uh, yeah, I ship it. I ship it hard. I can't wait to see her pop up in more episodes, and I hope they're as good as this one. Oh, and the show is really funny. Much like the movie it's a spin-off of, and I think for the most part it balances that quite well. From Baymax O-Knowing oh in the background, to Fred's rivalry with an 11-year-old comic book shop owner. It never gets so absurd that it becomes unbearable. And to note, Fred's a little less annoying in this episode. I know this was a real concern for some fans in the previous episode, so maybe the writers are toning it down a smidge. We'll have to see. All in all, I am still peeved it took Disney this long to air more of the show. But it's such a good show so far, I can't stay angry too long. Honestly, this show would have made my list of best new shows of 2017. Go watch that video. But it only had the one episode aired, so I had to leave it off. If you can watch the episode, Wikipedia doesn't seem to have it listed, go watch. You won't be disappointed. And now I would like to take the time to thank my patrons over on Patreon for supporting me. So, thanks Yasmin, I really appreciate it. If you'd like to see how you could become a patron, get early access to videos, and get more of a saying what I cover on this channel, links to my Patreon will be down below. Thanks for watching, and take care.